up with. And how many of you remember the 12 days of Christmas? Well, given that, how about if we would sing, and, and actually that song, now through legend, was written as somewhat of a catechism. And so the partridge in a pear tree has us thinking about Jesus and the cross. Uh, two, two turtle doves is the Old and New Testament. Three French hens is faith, hope, and charity. And then four calling birds is Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the Gospels. And then five golden rings is a reminder of the Torah. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. And so just for a little bit of, you know, seasonal joy here, why don't we begin with, on the fifth day of Christmas. On the fifth day of Christmas, my two
people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has overcome Those who dwelt in the land of deep darkness, on them light has shined.
chapter, verses 2 through 5. But you, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, who are one of the little clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to rule Israel, whose origin is from old, from ancient days. Therefore he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has brought forth. Then the rest of his kindred shall return to the people of Israel. And he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall live secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be the one of peace. If the Assyrians come down onto our land and tread upon our soil, we will raise against them seven shepherds and eight installed as rulers. The word of the Lord. Once in Royal David City. 
who was said to be buried. Then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The word of the Lord. Two eighty nine. Angels we have heard on high.
and he was called Jesus. The name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. When the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every firstborn male shall designate, be designated as holy to the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came to the temple, and when the parents brought the child, Jesus, to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, you are now dismiss, dismissing your servant in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, that you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for a revelation to the Gentiles, and for glory to your people Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother, This child is destined for the falling and rising of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be opposed, so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul, too. Sarah's going to complete the reading. Of the Father's love begotten.
Jacob left, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother and flee to Egypt and remain there until I tell you. For Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. Then Joseph got up, took the child and his mother by night and went to Egypt and remained there until the death of Herod. This was to fulfill what had been spoken of the Lord by the Lord through the prophet, Out of Egypt I have called my son. When Herod saw that he had been tricked by the wise men, he was infuriated, and he sent and killed all the children in and around Bethlehem who were two years old or under, according to the time that he had learned from the wise men. Then was fulfilled what had been spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. A voice was heard in Ramah, wailing in loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children. She refused to be consoled, because they were no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I think this next one, while you wanted the insert, the Lulay Lulay Country Carol, the Slaughter of the Innocents, is that where we are? Love has come down, has come a light in the darkness. Mary his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure. 
treasure chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The word of the Lord. These last two readings are of the three wise men that bring gifts and joy that the whole world recognizes. Witness of God and the divine presence. And yet at the very same time, they're also reminded of what we call the slaughter of the holy innocents, and that is the second day or third day of, of Christmas. And in so doing, we are reminded that even in times of tragedy, woe, of concern, of health and problems in the world, God is still there to embrace and still to bring hope. We still sing with that solemnness. Let us sing all four verses of the Coventry Carol. Received him, 
who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the Word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. The Word of the Lord. celebrations of life, as we remember those birthdays, anniversaries, 
and joyful reunions as we name them now in our hearts and aloud.
Jesus, we are your guests today. Let our gifts to you be blessed.
others. And with that, keep that in mind, that in the name of Jesus, I resolve to. And this, let this be a reminder. Write something down, put it on your refrigerator, and use that as a reflection throughout this next year. And with that here, as a blessing and dismissal, let us bless the Lord. May you be filled with the wonder of Mary, the obedience of Joseph, the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the determination of the Magi, and the peace of the Christ child. Amen. And with anticipation of the new year, New Year's Eve here, this is the New Year's Eve carol, Deck the Halls.